I was very impressed when I heard Eckhart Tolle, who is one of my heroes, say that if many times during the day you stop and are completely with just one breath, your in-breath, your out-breath, and you are completely with it, your focus and awareness is totally with that breath. If you do that many times a day, he was saying, it is more powerful than an hour's meditation. And why? Because it brings you into the present moment. All breath techniques bring you into the present moment. The most amazing one that I know is Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breathing. And most people have practiced this in a yoga class. So they'll do this, breathe in left, out right. They'll go through Nadi Shodana and then they go straight to do the asanas, the body postures. So they never get to experience the true power of Nadi Shodana, which is that it leads you into an amazing, still, meditative space. It balances your left and right brain it awakens your pineal gland. It balances the left and the right, the divine, masculine and feminine in your body and your mind. And it has this amazing effect of raising your energy and making you more awake and at the same time calming you down, which is the perfect space to be in. So if you don't already do it, I am going to put a video up on Nadi Shodana. It is the most wonderful technique. So there are many different breathing techniques, but they are, they are incredibly joyful, easy, accessible ways to bring yourself into a state of peace, to bring yourself into the present moment. I don't teach the type of meditation where you're supposed to just close your eyes, still your mind, and sit there. Because not many people can do that. We are human, and we have thoughts running around in our mind all the time. Doing breath techniques or meditation are so much easier than that, and incredibly powerful. So please, pay attention to your breath. Number five is, your energy body and energy awareness. Make some effort to get to know and experience your chakras. The seven chakras within and the chakras without. I work on a 12 chakra system, but I only rarely teach about these seven, the ones that we know from Sahasrara at the crown down to Muladhara at the root the eighth chakra that I've spoken about, the sacred heart chakra. And then there is a chakra at the top of your aura, which my guides call the cosmic star portal chakra, because it is a portal or opening to higher energies. And having your awareness there makes it so much easier to connect upwards with guides, with star beings, with the higher dimensions. This is part of becoming multidimensional. The one at the bottom of your aura they have called the Earth Star Portal because it is the opening or portal which you have to the Earth energies below. So you ground down through your root chakra and I follow a more Quan Yin system of when I'm sending a grounding cord, in fact sending it from my second chakra. Chakra meditation can take many forms. Um, chakra awareness can take many forms. But when I'm talking about energy awareness, it's good to read about the chakras and learn about them and understand more about what they relate to. But what I'm really talking about is feeling them, making the effort to experience your chakras. 
you can do a very simple chakra meditation where you just for some minutes hold your awareness in each chakra and I've had students being being healed of uh, lifelong illnesses being healed also of insomnia of migraines that have plagued them um, of depression of um, chronic fatigue through doing chakra meditation not going for chakra healing with a healer but doing chakra meditation themselves because as you clear and open the energies of each chakra just by holding your awareness there you automatically heal in two directions the chakras are in the center the emotional and mental body are on the one side and the physical body is on the other side it is your thoughts and beliefs and your emotions that affect your chakras and if they continue to affect the chakras negatively for some time that will affect the physical body negatively so when you work with the chakras you are working with all aspects of yourself it's amazing you need to be energy aware because this is how you develop discernment discernment about who the goodies and baddies are and we are going to be presented with a whole new range of beings and situations as we move towards 2012 we are going to meet extraterrestrial races we need to be able to feel from our energy bodies whether they are of the light or not nearly all of the star beings that are here now and that are coming are coming to assist and empower us but there are some that don't have that as an agenda there are there is duality throughout the universe that's what makes it interesting if we didn't have to choose between the light and the dark we wouldn't move we wouldn't go anywhere we wouldn't experience anything the creative force created us and earth and the other planets and all these amazing structures in order for us to evolve that's the name of the game it is it has always been and will always be the name of the game but it has become more intense now as we enter this photon band as we leave the last cycle and enter the new cycle it is very intense you have noticed that time is speeding up it's not your imagination you have noticed that changes are coming thick and fast it's not your imagination and you've noticed that you are being forced to let go of old ways of being now you can refuse you can refuse to change you can refuse to wake up to what's going on but this will make you suffer and that's the bottom line the only way to move through the changes in joy and in empowerment is to consciously raise your vibration and raising your vibration simply means doing anything in your power to become more happy balanced and peaceful so I am giving you tools here I am giving you ideas of how to do this on a practical level because you can hear these terms Christ consciousness multi-dimensional unity consciousness the fifth dimension the new age of light you can hear these terms and they can mean nothing to you all you need to know 
is that we are taking a massive step up in our evolution. A massive step. This is big. And you need to keep up by raising your vibration.